Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to solve this isomorphic uh, string. So basically, isomorphic string is a uh, uh, let's first understand the word state isomorphic. Okay, it means simply means uh, all similar one from another. Like uh, here is given two string. That's uh, read first first then okay. So given the uh, two string S and T, so we have given two string S and T. It when if they are isomorphic, if they are similar or not, simply, okay. And uh, two string S and T are the isomorphic if the character in the S can replace to get T. So it is given like that. If the okay, if uh, T is suppose uh, you know, let's take from example T is egg and. Uh, Sorry, S is T, S is egg and T is egg. And according to question here, written to string S not way. If the if S can be replaced to get T. So if we replace A and E to A and G to D, so we will get add. That means this is asymmetric. Okay. Here it is returning true. Okay. So read uh, again more. All the occurrence of the of a character must be replaced with the another character. While pursuing the order, that means, uh, okay, let's go back. Okay, so if we write, uh, suppose here written E, E, and uh, G, F, G, D, and uh, now we are mapping. So just like that, uh, E is mapped for A. So we can write here a and f is map for e so we can write e but now each also map for f from this t area t string so we cannot write e here okay so it is simply saying that and the last line is saying the same uh character may map itself that means if a uh, s containing a S okay and uh, T is also containing S so it can map its uh, both okay so it is true so let's I think input is uh, example is clear so let's solve the problem first of all I want to say the, uh, there is number of approach of solving this so I have also already solved from uh, three to four method different approach okay so you will find the link in the description box box and uh, question link and the solution link both so let's solve the problem so here i am using, going to use uh dp approach so i am using now a sky value of the character let's first um, slice dp of size 128 and again another map you can say this uh, map simply this is also unmapping not the uh, dp then okay so i write dp length. length of so according to question length of the s and t is equal so don't care about other thing so here we have to write if dp of s dot care at i okay if not equal to dp2 dot okay dp2 of t dot care at i if it is not equal then return false and uh, what we have to do dp of l dot care at i equal to i plus one Simply copy and paste again and just write two here and t here. Okay. And at the end we have to return true. Let's run first. And then I will explain why I'm writing this i instead of i plus plus or something like that. So let's write first two. Okay. Let's take our example. Suppose we have given Let's understand this approach. B B 
a a a b and a and uh, second string is like a a a b b b a okay like that so now in the first loop i is pointing to zero so here b in this first b okay and also in the a so here b is mapped for a let's write a here and a is mapped for b okay and uh, here again when it come here it will check okay uh as dot caret i that is b now the b is uh, containing like i plus one that is one so that me right here also a okay, one okay it is containing one right now and uh, here b is containing one and a is also containing here when it uh, pointer come to this uh, this b this one it will check for this b what it is containing now here a one is containing and uh, this a is also containing one okay now again it uh, come here and uh, now b is mapped for a and here i is one and i one plus one it is two uh, right and similar to the uh, bottom here is two also it is also mapped for b now it is similar from previous suppose the side a and the bottom three and also three and here b okay now a now here in the first s string is not mapped now now a come first here and it will check for a now a is zero right now i mean nothing is mapped in a so it will write map b b here and b here also and i is four right now three plus four one that is four so it will write four here four here also now is map for b already you will check four and uh, write it and b here also again it a check again now it will find a four here uh, this contain four and this also contain four now interesting thing coming now okay five here five here and uh b is made for a now this b this one b okay it will check b now at the last b is here so b is mapped three and in the a this b here okay it is not equal for it will check b so b is the previous first it is five now five is not equal to three so it will return false here i hope i can explain you bad i think it is clear so that's all for today's video let's submit this one So it is accepted now. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.